steps. The Both teams are set up here just waiting for their names to be called. See a lot of people fanning themselves right now. They've shut the doors, obviously, so the balls don't go rolling out. I don't know if the, the doors open really had that much <laughs> effect. And I think it may be a little warmer on the stage. I would agree. The Highland student section is getting ready for action. They are all standing up here with some superhero outfits on, it looks like, getting ready to cheer on their home team. Some interesting apparel there in the front row. It looks yeah. like uh, underwear over the shorts. I see Batman, Superman. Superman. And I'm not sure. Is the, the other one maybe another pair of Superman but with a different uh, logo? And now they're on uh, TV. So I'm sure. And they're loving that, it looks yes. like. So we'll let you, we'll stop for a second and let you listen to the action of the starting lineups and the Star Spangled Banner. In case you can't hear, what we were doing the starting lineup there was Kensley Heater. And for Highland, we have uh, number five. I thought we'd maybe be able to hear it better up here. It's like Jordan Rath. And for the Bullets, we have number 11, Aubrey Siegel. And for Highland, it looks like number seven, Morgan Craig. Junior Rachel Holstein for Mediapolis. For Highland, number nine, Taylor McDowell. Molly Woodruff, back row player, a junior. For Highland, we have number 10, Paige Weiland. Weiland. Her, her mom is a softball coach is the only reason <laughs> I know you, that Kim. one. Thank you, Kim. No problem. Abby Eberhardt, defensive spe specialist for the Bullets. And for Highland, number 16, Kelsey Dorio. That looks good to me. I see the word Oreo in that, wor <laughs> in that name. I'm going to get hungry. We'll go with that. Uh, senior Jessica Holstein. But we'll also see uh, Heidi Hilliard in there rotating in and um, Haley Hilliard. And they will play the front row. The final starter for Highland is number 24, Samantha Dutton. I was wrong. It's not the final starter. They also have an libero. But nobody to shake Mediapolis's hand. She'll just shake, shake Coach Jondry and Coach Schultz's hand. And now we'll get ready for the national anthem.
And I imagine that was pre-recorded, probably uh, the Highland Chorus. That was a That's nice job. Mm -hmm. So uh, BD Apples will be on the end, close to the stage where we are. It should be easy for us to see the action. It may be a little bit harder on the other end when the bullets get down there. But we know the action will be fast, and we'll try to keep up so that it'll keep up with the uh, video the best that we can. The Bullettes and the Highland have both enter on, entered to the court, and they're just having a little powwow, and then we'll be ready to begin. We have a sophomore, two juniors, and three seniors starting for Mediapolis. And I say Haley Hilliard, a senior, and Heidi Hilliard, a sophomore, will see action when they, the players that they go in for, substitute in for, or play across the front line, they'll go in, and I'm sure we'll see some blocks and uh, kills from the Hilliard girls as well. I'm not sure who has first serve. I would I imagine know. Highland does, but That's the ball's I'm down at that there. end. And we are just about ready to start. The referees are just checking the final lineups on the court, and then we should be ready for the first serve. Looks like Highlands Libero, number 36. I think they are very excited about being on the camera, too. I agree. I think they're more excited maybe than the <laughs> Bullets right now. Of course, they're seeing the camera. The bullets have their back to them right now. Libero's name, is it Cassie Vasquez? And the student section is excited. They're ready to go for Highland. And here we go with the start, the first serve of the game. And Molly Woodruff has a serve reception. Set by Aubrey Siegel, hit by Rachel Holstein, and a kill to start the game by Rachel Holstein. And we are going to have a substitution here. Um, Haley Hilliard yes. is coming in for number four, Abby Eberhardt. And Aubrey Siegel, who had that great day serving uh, last Saturday, 72-73, puts the ball up. Nice. Highland gets the ball up. We have a set, and here's a kill attempt. Doesn't get the ball across, though, so another point for the Bullets. And Bullets are leading two to zero. And Aubrey Siegel will be uh, serving again. A lefty for sure. That looked like it was almost going to be an ace serve, but Highland gets it over. Serve reception by uh, Molly. I think Jessica had that hit. Molly gets it back up to Aubrey Siegel. Aubrey serves, or er, Sets it to Rachel Holstein and another kill by Rachel Holstein. And for those of you that maybe aren't familiar with volleyball from like 20 years ago, you don't have to have the serve to score the point. It's called rally scoring and we will go to 25 points. Yes. At least the first four games, if it's fourth to a fifth, game will go to 15. Aubrey Siegel with another serve. Not, couldn't even get a kill attempt there for Highland. Uh, the, the set was, oh, I think, out of bounds on our side. I think yes. it maybe would even went over the net. Aubrey's going to have a, another high number serving perhaps tonight. Highland gets the ball over. Kinsley Heater uh, digs it. And there for Jessica Holstein right in the corner. So another Holstein has a kill. And it's 5-0, Mediapolis in the lead. Aubrey gets another chance to serve. And I believe, I know this is what it used to be, but if by chance Aubrey would serve all 25 points, I believe Mr. Coach Jondry owes them a pizza party. Ooh. So it's a kill attempt by Jessica Holstein. Highland gets it back. Up ball by Molly Woodruff, back set by Aubrey Siegel. The Haley Hillier gets the ball down, but Highland gets it back. And first point of the game for Highland on a kill that just rolled really right down the net. Right, uh, Renee, there wasn't yes, much they could do about that. There was a hard that. play. So we will watch Highland number 10 serve. That is Paige Wieland. Ball's up. Serve reception by Molly Woodruff. Aubrey Siegel sets the ball. To Kensley Heater from the back row puts one down, but Highland oh. gets it back. I think maybe uh, Jessica Holstein wasn't expecting that to come back on the first hole there. 
It was a nice back row hit by uh, Kensley. Yes. So Highland will serve again. Serve reception heater. Siegel sets to Jessica Holstein. Jessica on the outside hitter there and tries to dink it back to the back corner. Nobody was there, but they did find it, and Highland and gets it out of bounds. Mediapolis ball. The score is 6-2, to two, Mediapolis, and Rachel Holstein will be serving after that uh, side out. Serves up, uh, net and serve. Net serve, so point to Highland. Highland has a substitution in here. Um, 21 is coming in to play the front row. And number five, Jordan Rath will be serving. Serve reception by Jessica Holstein. Set Siegel, quick sit, and Haley Hilliard set, and quick Haley Hilliard puts the ball right down. Mediapolis has a substitution. Heidi Hilliard will be coming in for Molly Woodruff. Woodruff. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Rachel Holstein's sister Jessica is up to serve here. We have the two sisters side by side in the back row. Nice serve over to Highland. Nice, nice kill by Highland there. Aubrey Siegel was there, but just got one hand on it before it went out of bounds. So it will be Highland serve, and the score is 7 for Mediapolis. And a serve by Highland. Jessica Holstein tried to get there, but just couldn't quite. Don't know if she was expecting Haley to get that, or maybe she was blocked a little bit view-wise because it looked like maybe she was. Je or Rachel Holstein, Aubrey Siegel set. He Heidi Hilliard puts the ball over. Highland, here comes a kill attempt. Comes off her hand, Siegel gets it. Dinks over by Haley Hilliard. Highland gets the ball back over. And they and find an uh, open spot. Uh, net violation, I believe, uh, 24. Is there a 24 out there by Highland? So there Mediapolis is. will get the side out and the point. So they'll lead 8-5. to five. And Abby Everard is coming in to serve. And Haley Hilliard will go take a seat. Oh. And a net serve by Abby Eberhardt, so that will give the point to Highland, and it will be Highland serve. Well, that one and was clearly out of bounds. Definitely. So it will be a Mediapolis serve, and we have number five, Kensley Heater, coming up to serve. Kinsley, the beautiful summer. serve. Yeah, a nice there. ace serve. Kinsley uh, played for the Rockets this summer and got a lot of experience this summer playing volleyball. Even more experience, more court time, more touches. She she told me that uh, during an interview she felt that was really valuable for her. And I know Coach Jondry said he can really see a difference, more court and ball awareness. So Holstein and Aubrey Siegel serves or sets it. Excuse me to Rachel Holstein. The kill comes down and goes out of bounds. Point Meepo. Kelsey Heater will be taking another serve. Oh, Ooh. nice serve by Kensley. Almost didn't get it back over. Highland, or she dig by Heater, set. And a tip and by Heidi Hilliard. Sir, or dig by uh, Abby Eberhardt. Oh, Oops, and a, a little bit of communication problem there, I think. A quick tip over by Highland, and now Mediapolis is setting it back. That and out the of ball bounds. is out. Twelve to six. Excuse me, twelve to six lead right now. Kensley is the server again. And another just skim over the net serve. Oh, that one was right on the line. Kill by Highland. That'll make the score 12 to 7 and a side out for Highland. Highland has a substitution. We have number nine, Taylor McDole, coming in to serve for Highland.
And Annette serves, so that will bring the point to Minneapolis. And we have another substitution here. Molly Woodruff is coming back to serve as Heidi Hilliard takes a seat. And Molly's serving right now a 91%. She was 31 for 34 at the tournament, so a good server as well. Balls up. Serve reception by Highland. The set. Here's a kill attempt. Dig by Heater, set by Siegel, and Rachel Holstein gets it over, but Highland's right there with the defense. And oh. Highland sets it out of bounds, and they can't get to it, so a point for Mediapolis. I think every player there was uh, thinking of it would be a forward set, except for the setter. It was a back set, and the, the outside hitter was not ready for that. She was not. Highland dinks it over for kill attempt. Siegel takes it herself, doesn't set the ball for a, a kill of her own, and makes the score 15-7, Mediapolis. And it looks like we have a timeout, so we'd the like Highland to take- coach has seen enough. We'd like to take this time to thank our sponsors again. Brewer Agency, CMA Services, Wright Electric, Debmaster Real Estate, SG Construction, Hawkeye Petter Shop, Main Street Tire, Prairie Ridge, Mediapolis Savings Bank, Klein's True Value, Myers Construction, Shrox, USG, Great River Medical Center, Rhodes Jewelry, Morning Sun Farm Implement, Beckman, Beckman excuse me, TV and Appliance in Burlington, Cafe Old World, MTC Technologies, and Mediapolis Booster Club. And here we get back to the action. Molly Woodruff will be serving. Highland is trying some offense, but I think the set there, uh, the bump set was just a little bit too close to the net for the, the uh, hitter. The score is 16-7, Mediapolis, and Molly Woodruff will be serving again. Not a real good serve reception there by Highland. The ball comes over, dig by Woodruff. Ooh, a little, oh, little bit little of miscommunication mis there between two of our players, so don't we don't get it over the net, and it becomes Highland's ball. 16 to eight score in game one of a co first conference matchup. And the serve is Almost definitely hit out. <laughs> <laughs> it was the second ball of the night made its way on stage up here, so. We have another substitution. Haley Hilliard is joining the front row, and Aubrey Siegel is back to serve. We have a lot of setting, and Rachel Holstein um, hits it over the net. Point for Mediapolis. Rachel's had several kills. I, I, I know these statistics might be not be exactly what you see in the paper because I'm just trying to jot them down, but r so far I have four kills for Rachel Holstein. So She's off to a great start tonight. And last year she had a lot of uh, front row work, but this year she's staying in actually and playing back row also, so kind of a new experience for her there. Have a kill error there by Highland to give Meepo their 19th point. Siegel will serve again. She's six for six serving right now. Highland gets the ball over on the second try. Set by Siegel, back set. Haley Hilliard puts it down. Libero gets it up for Highland. S set by Siegel. Haley sets it again. And it was tight there at the net. Comes over to Mediapolis side. Highland has the ball now, and they're oh. uh, Just, a missed it seems attempt. Like the timing, is yes. not, maybe not, because we've seen several there. I don't know if they're too close to the net. Highland coach wants another timeout. The score is twenty to eight, Mediapolis. And we can go through the sponsors one more time. We have Meepo Booster Club, MTC Technologies, Cafe Old World, Beckman TV and Appliance, Morning Sun Farm Implement, Rhodes Jewelry. Great River Medical Center, USG, and Schrock's Lumber. Myers Construction, Klein's True Value, Mediapolis Savings Bank, Prairie Ridge. Main Street Tire, Hawkeye Petter Shop, and SG Construction. And Deb Massner Real Estate, Wright Electric, CMA Services, and Brewer Agency. Players are back on the court. Siegel's still set to serve, 20 to eight. 
Even though the fresh off and the JV games went to 21, varsity will go to uh, best three out of five games to 25. If the fifth match comes to that, it'll be a game to, uh, to 15. And we hope that doesn't happen, but. Highland is setting it over. Mediapolis has a hit by Rachel Holstein. Nice kill attempt there. There's Rachel putting it down again. So dig by Kensley Heater. Aubrey Siegel racing all over the court to get that set. Rachel oh tries to put it over. Blocked back by Highland. Highland's trying their offense again. This time they hit it. And we tip it out of bounds. So Highland will get that point. I think that one would have gone out of bounds either way. But I think Rachel maybe, or was it there a block at the net? Just got a tip on it. Mm -hmm. So Highland will serve. And, and another one coming out of bounds, and the ball made its way up here to the stage again. Rachel Holstein's ready to serve. She had a net violation last time, but this serves good. She's one for two now with serves. Holstein hits it over, and oh, we have a set there. A nice block by Mediapolis. I believe it was out of bounds. That though. went out, didn't it? And we have a rotation for Highland. Um, it looks like Highland's 21 is heading to the front row, and Highland will serve. It's difficult to see the numbers when they're standing yes, like it that, is. isn't it? Whoops. A, a serve, serve by Highland. Uh, Rachel Holstein got a touched yeah. it but it just went maybe, out of bounds maybe needed to get a little bit more foot movement there and get in front of the ball try doing it to the side and try for a real good serve reception here that was and another serve that went out the score is 22 11 at Mediapolis and we have a substitution here it looks like Heidi Hilliard is joining the front row and Who's back here serving, Kim? Uh, I believe it's Jessica Holstein. <coughs> nice serve by Jessica. Highland keeps it in play. A kill attempt here. Nice uh, defensive play there by Rachel Holstein. Kinsley Heater gets it over. Dink. Highland sets it over. Well, Ooh, a nice, nice kill by serve. Haley Hilliard. Good defensive play, free ball going over to the Highland. They'll see if they can do something with it here. Quick set there in the middle, uh, a block. Oh, oh nobody, and miscommunication. Oh, we're nice, gonna get it over. Nice, nice hustle nice by Aubrey hustle. Siegel. Highland is hitting it back over. We have Aubrey's making the set. Quick set to Heidi Hilliard, and wow, what a volley that was, Renee. That was very exciting. I will I didn't say think we were after doing all these there. sports, volleyball is the most difficult to keep <laughs> up. There's a lot of action, a lot of fast action. And here we, Rachel Holstein is serving again to Highland. And they're hitting okay. it over. We've got Rachel Holstein, there, Aubrey Siegel setting it. She is just all over the court and that's what a good setter does. She's just everywhere. She knows that second ball is hers to set. Oh, oh, tried to dink that one, but I uh, got it into the net. So side out for Highland, and the score is 23 Mediapolis, 12 Highland. Looks like we have both of the Holstein sisters in the back row right now. We do. Is that nice? Serve reception by Rachel. Ooh. Nice set by Aubrey, and Heidi Hilliard puts it down for the 24th point. So this will be a game set point right here. And we have number four, Abby Eberhardt, coming in to serve. Oh, I would say that's an ace serve. I know they hit, had two attempts on it, but they were running all over the place. So, Mediapolis gets the first game, 25-12. And we'll go to game two, which may be a little bit more difficult for us because they are going to be at the opposite side of the court. So uh, three minute timeout in volleyball between games. I think Coach Chandri is taking the bullets outside. I see it's starting to get a little dark out there, maybe a little bit cooler temperatures as well. So 
That would be a good time to run through our sponsors again. Uh, Brewer Agency, your local hometown insurance agency, providing all of your insurance needs. CMA Services wants to wish the best of luck to both the football and volleyball teams. Right. right go ahead, Renee. Wright Electric. See Travis or Ed Wright for all of your electrical needs. Deb Massner Real Estate. Looking to make your next home in Minneapolis? Call Deb Massner at 319-759-3715. I was just going to interrupt when we were talking about the uh, football and volleyball teams. Want to mention too, the uh, cross country has a meet tonight, I believe at IMS. But Tuesday night, uh, Dylan Timmerman was second, and uh, Savannah Banward, a freshman, fourth place for the girls. So they're off to a good start as well. Um, SG Construction currently has lots available for purchase in the RDM LLC subdivision in Meepo. Hawkeye Pettershop. Fill out an application for a rewarding career at Hawkeye Petter Shop. Go dogs! Main Street Tire, your tires and safety are number one. Not just an afterthought. Sponsors of Meepo Athletics. Prairie Ridge, providing care for Des Moines County and the Mediapolis community. Mediapolis Savings Bank, supporters of the Mediapolis community, its students, and athletes. Klein's True Value, orange and black apparel, towels, drawstring bra bags, seat cushions, and more. See the wide assortment of Mediapolis and printed clothing at Klein's True Value. Just ask rental. 530 Main Street, Mediapolis. Myers Construction. No job too big or small. Myers Construction can handle them all. Schrocks. Building a team like is like building a house. Each need a strong foundation and teamwork. USG, a proud supporter of Mediapolis School and Athletics. Great River Medical Center, dedicated to improving the region's health by providing quality care. Rose Jewelry, supporters of Mediapolis students and athletes, go Bullets. Morning Sun Farm Implement, your home for sales and service on everything from your farm to the lawn. Beckman TV and Appliance in Burlington, your brand source dealer for Samsung Televisions, Whirlpool, KitchenAid, Maytag, and Speed Queen. Cafe Old World, stop in after the game for famous Old World Pizza and Ashby's Ice Cream. MTC Technologies is proud to sponsor Media. Bu Mediapolis Bulldog Academics and Athletic Programs. Catch the replay of this game and other Mediapolis games on MTC Local Channel 10. And I'll be excited when we can see that football game from last Friday. Even though I was there, I'll be anxious to watch it. Last but not least, the Meepo Booster Club, promoting all things Bulldogs and Bullets. And be sure to remember, tomorrow night, they are sponsoring a tailgate before the home football game against the Keokuk, I want to say Chiefs. Does that sound mm, right? I Keokuk really don't Chiefs? know what they are. I think well, tonight they're going to be the <laughs> Chiefs. I no. should know that. My friend um, taught there for two years, the last Jeez. two years. and Jerry Woods is nodding his head, yes. All right. So. Good job, Kim. Thank you, Jerry. And here we are, the Mediapolis Bullets and the Highland Huskies are back out on the court ready to begin. The referees are just checking to make sure that the rotations, everyone is in their place, and then we will be able to get started on game number two. Bullets won that first game. Uh, I should know the score, but I'm going to have to look. 25 to 12. And like we said before, uh, the Bullets are on the opposite side of the court, so this might be a little more difficult for us to... See to, call, every, yes. to call everything that's going on. No, Molly Woodruff is up to serve. Uh, Bullets have the first serve. As long as she keeps serving aces or something like that, it would be really easy for us. Here we go. Ball's up on Highland's side. Setter can't get to the second ball, so I'm going to call that an ace serve. I'm not sure if that's how it'll go on the, in the books for the Bullets. It looked good to me, so Mediapolis gets the first point of the second game. When you were playing, Renee, was that an, an ace serve? I would say so. Okay. Especially if you were serving. If I'm the right? server, it can be an A serve. <laughs> Here comes the serve. Good serve reception by Highland. A set, a kill attempt. Oh, and nice. just, I a think nice we tipped dig. it enough, uh, maybe a block that uh, couldn't get to it. And it's going to be Highland's ball. Number 36 is serving. I think it's difficult sometimes with the Highland players, all three of them in the middle there. It looked like Molly was really trying to look around them to see when the serve was coming. Mm, nice that was hit a beautiful by uh, hit. Rachel Holstein. So side out Meepo. Looks like Haley Hilliard is coming into the front row and Aubrey Siegel will be serving.
And Highland hits it over to be blocked. Mediapolis sets it over and they go try to hit it back and it goes out of bounds. So that will be a point for Mediapolis. Uh, nice, uh, it was a dink, but a dink still is recorded as a kill by Haley Hillier there. She couldn't have got it in a more perfect spot there back here in the corner. That's right. Aubrey Siegel set to serve, serve reception by Highland goes over to the scoreboard. So I'm putting that one down as an ace serve. Mediapolis leads four to one. And Aubrey will get another chance to serve. Seems like uh, deja vu here, Renee. That's how we started the last game. That's right. Oh, that they're gonna, referee's gonna call that either a lift or I would say maybe a double hit. That did not come off her hand smoothly. She tried to set the serve and here well, we go Highland again. Coach doesn't agree with that, but if she would have seen the spin coming off that ball, that's really a good way to, for the referees to look at. But and uh, Aubrey, I would call that another ace serve. Right. She served it over, somebody tried to hit it and it just kind of got out of bounds. So point for Mediapolis. The score is six to one. Serves up, serve reception by uh, Highland, set, kill attempt here by number 10. And she gets that one down. It was off to the side of Molly Woodruff. I think Molly was leaning one way and the ball went the other. So Highland will get to serve and Highland will have a substitution here. A new position for Molly back there in the back row. Her freshman and sophomore year, she was always the setter. But Coach Jondry uh, changed her. She's not setting this year. She could if they run a maybe a 6-2 offense, but with a 5-1 offense, wouldn't really need to do that. I think they're going to call that a lift, lift also. So Highland will get that point. Number 10, Paige Wheeland for Highland is set to serve. And Kelsey Heater will take the serve, and Haley Hillier dinks it over, point Mediapolis making the score seven to three. And Rachel Holstein up to serve. She's looking up above her head there, doesn't want to get too close to that backboard. I'm not sure why they're not up. To me, that would make more sense than having them down, but kill attempt by Highland. Mediapolis gets offense from it. Kensley Heater puts it down, it's touched, so it doesn't matter that it's out of bounds. Point Meepo. And Rachel Holstein will have the serve again. Island hits, sets, and a hit from the back row goes over to Meepo. And another nice hit by Heater that went just right down the net for another kill by Kensley. That'll put the score to 9-3, Mediapolis. And three straight points on kills. Meepo's offense looks like it's running on all cylinders there tonight. Highland uh, gets the ball over on a kill attempt, but just hit enough of the net, I think, there, Renee, that it stopped it, and Rachel and wasn't just, able to reach it. She just couldn't quite get there. Side out Highland, the score is nine to four. Highland takes the serve. Another lefty back there serving. Kensley Heater hits the block, goes out of bounds. So that's a point, or a side out Mediapolis and a point. And Heidi Hilliard will be entering the front row. And Jessica Holstein is there to serve. And serve receives, we have a set. Here comes a kill attempt. Get a little bit of the block there between the Hilliard and sisters. A beautiful and hit by Heidi, Heidi Hilliard. And it looks like Highland is going to take a time out. Ni nice kills by Mediapolis there. I want to say we've had five in a row, but we, and, and you know playing volleyball that, that there's no way that can happen unless we have good reception or playing good defense and a really good set that's right where it needs to be. That's right. Mediapolis is always ready. They have the back row comes up to cover whenever there's a hit. So it is truly a team effort. They're all there ready and hustling around Looks like Highland is 
done talking and they're ready to get back to the court. So the Huskies coach is the one that called the timeout and she's done talking already. I think Coach Jandri probably just as hot as it is wants to get the bullets <laughs> a nice water drink and or water break I should say. And here we go. We're ready to start again. It looks like uh, Jessica Holstein is back to serve. The score is 11-4. Oh. Referee's blown the whistle. Here comes the ball. Student section's getting a little riled up for Highland here. And Highland's going to make, oh, ooh, that was great. Yes. Heidi Hilliard reaches up and makes a beautiful kill. Point for Mediapolis. I think the uh, Highland coaches were saying maybe it hadn't crossed the plane and she was hitting it before, but nice to, oh, Ooh. now that one should have been, been called. called. Highland tried to set the so serve again. Quick set by Aubrey Siegel. Heidi not ready for it, so uh, four hits on Mediapolis. Gives Highland a side out and 12-5 score. And we have a number 16 for Highland, uh, Kelsey. We want to say Dorio because Oreo is in her name. <laughs> Nice um, serve reception by Rachel and good set by Aubrey, but Haley can't quite get to it. So kill error on Mediapolis to give Highland their sixth point. Highland serves again. Oh, and our yeah. Mediapolis timing is just a little off there again. We tried to do a quick set to Heidi Hilliard, but just didn't quite make it and it went into the net. So Highland gets their seventh point. I think that's twice they've tried that one. Maybe third time's a charm. I know that was one thing when I coach, uh, interviewed Coach Jandry too. He was a little concerned about timing, but of course that's something that just takes a lot of practice, a lot of new faces out there, new positions. Comes the ball back from Highland, get the block, got a little tip on it. Haley Hilliard sets it for her sister. Heidi puts it down. Looks like we will have a substitution here. <sighs> Haley Hilliard is on her way out, and Abby Eberhardt is back to serve. Scores 13 to seven with Eberhardt serving. Serve reception by Highland, a back set. Uh, oh, 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 yes, that's what I was gonna say. That one was on this side of the antenna. I'm sh surprised Coach Jondry wasn't yelling on that one. The ball is Sorry out. if I got a little excited no, there. That's but we right. could, from being on the stage, that was one good thing about being on the stage. We could see that. Highland serve receives. They're hitting from the back row, and Mediapolis tries to get there but can't quite make it. They touch it, and it is Highland's point. Highland will have a substitution. It looks like number 22, Courtney Hahn, will be back to serve. Serves up, Rachel Holstein serve receives. Siegel gets to it to set. Kensley Heater attempts to put it down. It's blocked back by Highland and uh, Highland scores a point on a block. The student section here at Highland is excited about that one. I'm not sure what they're yelling right now. I'm not sure I what they're yelling. Rachel Holstein has a nice serve reception. Back set by Siegel, and Heidi was ready for it, puts it down, but Highland's scrambling around. Two players on the floor, they can't get it over, but I'll tell you what, I didn't think they'd get their hands on the first ball, so. That's right. So it will be Mediapolis serve. And Kensley Heater serving. Oh. And a net serve, so that will give the point to Highland, making the score 15-10. And uh, Kensley at the Danville tournament was 17 for 17, 100%. So first miss serve for the season for that senior. Serve reception by Jessica oh, uh, Holstein. Oh, oh, we made it over. Uh, we set barely. it over, just barely made it to the other side. But barely counts in volleyball. That's right. I think Siegel could only get one hand on it. And I can't, I'm not sure who was it, Abby, that maybe hit it over and and now we have Heidi Hilliard is taking a break, and it looks like Molly Woodruff is back to serve. Molly has a nice serve. I like how she really hesitates. She holds the ball, makes sure really concentrates, and then here it comes. So over by Jessica Holstein. They're calling a uh, violation. Highland underneath the net. 
Highland coach doesn't like that, but from where she's sitting, I'm not sure how she would know whether we were over the net or not because she's about as far away as we are. Uh, the student section did not like that call either. But here we go. Molly Woodruff is serving the ball. Lady Apples leading 17 to 10 in the game two. Highland sets, and they a missed opportunity there. Highland number five went up to try to get the kill, but she had a little timing issue and didn't quite make it. So Molly will serve again. A serve reception by Highland, set by number eight. Kill, oh, I think that was out of bounds. So kill error there by Highland. So it gives Meepo its 19th point. And Molly Woodruff will get another chance to serve. She's doing really well back there. And Highland will call a timeout. So we'll run through our sponsors real quick. Remember, without these sponsors, the dog cast would not be possible. Brewer Agency, CMA Services, Wright Electric. Deb Massner Real Estate, SG Construction, Hawkeye Petter Shop. Main Street Tire, Prairie Ridge, Mediapolis Savings Bank. Klein's True Value, Myers Construction, Shock Lumber. USG, Great River Medical Center, Rhodes Jewelry. Morning Sun Farm Implement, Beckman TV and Appliance, Cafe Old World. MTC Technology, Technologies, excuse me, and they'll also be uh, bringing this to their local channel number 10 and the Meepo Booster Club. Don't forget their uh, tailgating party tomorrow night. Uh, free will donation, I believe, and yes. support the athletic bo athletic boosters. But boy, what what do they do for Mediapolis? They do a lot. A new football uh, scoreboard out on the football, the football field. Look, the football scoreboard so, looks great. I, I don't know if that was all the boosters, but I think a, a great proportion of it was. Highland, nice block by the Holstein sisters, though. But Highland gets it over. Kensley Heater gets it to Aubrey Siegel. Back set to. But, Oh, and um, Mediapolis hits it over. I didn't know if they were going to quite make that or not. Highland takes it attempt. over. Nice hustle by Aubrey Siegel to get it over. Jessica Holstein just bumps it over, and we're going to reset. Kill attempt. I don't know if we'll get offense. Oh, nope. and a miscommunication. Uh, Kinsley Heater hit it, and nobody, nobody communicated, and so the ball dropped to the floor. I think they were looking for a back row hit there, and uh, the back row hitters maybe were clear over to the side. So Highland will serve, and the score is 19-11, Mediapolis. A serve by Highland, giving them a point, making the score 19-12. The Bullets have really held a considerable lead this whole game, but... And the crowd is getting very quiet here. Yes. Mediapolis sets it, and we hit it over. Oh, that should have been called. I would call that a double hit. So Aubrey Siegel sets it to Rachel Holstein, and that one even took out the line, Judge. So point Mediapolis. We May have, have been out, but I think they had touched it at the net. So. Yes. And we have Haley Hilliard is returning to the front row. And Aubrey Siegel will be serving for Mediapolis. Mediapolis leading 20 to 12. Serve reception by Highland, set. Here comes a kill attempt. It's blocked back over by Haley Hilliard and Jessica Holstein. So that will make the score 21-12 and Aubrey Siegel will serve yet again this evening. And uh, Aubrey will be a senior greatly missed next year. Boy, she just runs the offense out there. No, we were hated to see Sarah Calderwood graduate a couple years ago, and Coach Chandry was worried, but Aubrey had huge shoes to fill. But, boy, has she really filled in and does a great job. It, she's been all over the floor tonight, sliding around, making sure that she gets those sets. Yes, she has. And here she serves again. Highland will set and hit it, and Kensley Heater gets the hit. The uh, kill attempt by Jessica Holstein, then her sister Rachel Holstein, and Rachel got it to fall a few times hit, I think, by Highland, but 23-12, we're, we're getting close to that game point here. 
It is kind of neat to be sitting on the stage and looking at the Minneapolis girls because you can see how focused they are from the side of the net. Their heads are definitely in this game and they are ready for anything. That's a good point, Renee. So really the stage hasn't been as bad as what yeah. I thought it would be. <laughs> it's out, okay, 24-12, we have game point. And Aubrey and Siegel will be the one to serve. The last game was 25-12. Wouldn't it be ironic if all three games were 25-12? I think we actually had that happen one time last year, and I thought that was kind of fun to write about. Here we go. Highland hits it over. Quick set oh, nice and set. a kill by Heidi. Nope, sorry, Haley, Haley Hilliard. So that will give us our... The game point for the second game, the score is 25-12, and we will take a little break between games here. And the crowd just got very quiet all they of a did sudden. They get very quiet. So not much maybe for the Highland student section. Oh, to there cheer we about. go. The superheroes are over there doing some kind of little dance trying doing to get the, the crowd coaster. into this game. Definitely some they're all synchronized there. I don't know about you, Kim, but I don't see all that many superhero outfits over there. I see the people in the front row. Yes. Are there others that I just can't see? Uh, no, I don't see. I don't see know if people either. didn't quite get the memo for so that one. or um, yeah, Could be. They know they're on camera now, hamming it up for the camera a little bit. Mediapolis side's a little bit calmer. Everybody's just fanning themselves. It's definitely a hot one in here tonight. Mm. Again, we're looking forward to tomorrow's night, tomorrow night's football game, Keokuk versus Mediapolis. It should be a very exciting game to watch. And uh, remember to uh, get all the, the stories from all the sports that's been happening at Mediapolis, all the football, cross country, and volleyball. Uh, there's your subscription to the Mediapolis News. Just look for my articles in there. So starting to get a little bit busier. Junior high hasn't started yet, so it's still not as busy as what it will be. We uh, want to thank Jerry Woods for taping tonight for MTC Technologies so that you'll be able to see tonight's game on Channel 10 for the local. Yeah, MTC, local, yep. So we want to remind everyone, too, this is Kim Scheitlin, and I'm joined by Renee hunter Doss tonight. This is Renee's first time on the air, but we're having a lot of fun bringing the First volleyball, and actually this is the first volleyball game I've gotten to do because this is the first dog cast for volleyball, but what an exciting thing. When I think I got received an email from Danny Davis maybe last December or January, and he was talking about putting these on the computer, and he knew what to do technology-wise, and boy, have we had a lot of listeners. I think still the district wrestling la or last year, at, or well, I should say last winter at Fairfield had the most listeners with... Over 430 some, I think. So, wow. Mediapolis is entering the gym, and soon we will be starting our third game of the evening. We hope it's a quick game because if it could possibly get any hotter, and R Renee and I have headsets on too, so we can hear each other, and that just adds, uh, uh, I want to say, a good 10 to 15 degrees. It's just traps the it's heat right here. Definitely to your warm head. up here. The Bullets cheering, coming out on the court. I would believe it's, I would believe Highland would serve first for game three. It looks like it since their line judge is holding the ball down there. So I'm going to guess that you are right, Kim. And the, the referees will come out here and make sure that everyone is where they need to be. And then we'll get this third game started. Can remind everyone you can hear the varsity game uh, Bulldogs against Keokuk tomorrow night. Game time's at 7.30, so they will go on the air at 7 o'clock. And then next week coming up, we have Tuesday, uh, V Volleyball, a triangular. Renee and myself will be carrying uh, covering that at LM against LM and Columbus. And next Friday, I believe we travel to Wapala, which will be exciting. We haven't had them yeah. on the schedule, kind of a little Highway 61 rival there, and that would be a football game. So that's a dog cast for tomorrow night and two coming up next week. And indeed, Highland is going to be serving first. Looks like number 36, Cassie Vasquez, will be serving to Mediapolis. 
They're received by Rachel Holstein. Aubrey Siegel just takes it herself, puts it over the net for First Point Mediapolis. And Haley Hilliard will join the front row as Aubrey Siegel comes back to serve again. Let's hope she has as good of luck in this game as she has in the past two. I don't think she's missed a serve. I, I think maybe think they've gotten a side either. out, but not because of Aubrey's serving. Nice place there over on the left-hand side. Highland gets the ball over with a free ball. Mediapolis should get some offense out of this. Rachel Holstein puts it down, but not down to the floor, just down in a Husky's face, I think, maybe. <laughs> that one was like a bullet. Siegel sets again to Holstein. She tries a different angle that time, but Highland still gets it back up. Here comes the ball. Set by S Siegel. S oh, uh, Another set by Haley Hilliard, and Jessica Holstein just doesn't have the timing maybe, and it's at the top of the net, so side out Highland. Scores one to one. Number 10 for Highland will be serving to Meepo. Nice serve reception by Molly Woodruff. Back set Siegel. Rachel Holstein hits it cross court, and it goes down for a kill. So Mediapolis will serve, and it will be Rachel Holstein By Rachel. Kill, well, nope, there's a free ball over from Highland. Aubrey sets oh, it back. back set, well, but I don't think Haley was expecting that. She was kind of following the set there. So side out for Highland, and Highland will make a substitution. Again, it's hard to see their numbers here. Looks like number 13 for Highland will be joining their front row, Emily Wheeland. I don't think we've seen her yet tonight. I think this may be her first time. Maybe trying to get some different players in. Back set by Siegel. R Jessica Holstein hits outside hitter cross court there. Highland gets it back. Nice block by Hilliard and uh, Holstein. Haley Hilliard, that is. And Highland has four hits, so Mediapolis will get the point. And Heidi Hilliard will join the front row. We'll yeah. Again, we'll give a shout out to Joanne out there listening, um, Heidi and Haley's grandma out there. So hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. Served by Jessica Holstein. Here comes the ball over. Jessica gets it to Siegel. Siegel sets it to Heater on the outside. Highland's coming back with it with a free ball. So Mediapolis hopefully gets some offense out of this. Siegel has a short set to Hilliard, and it goes down for a kill. And Angie Jondry was really excited about that point. We <laughs> could hear her. and It looked good from here. And we will have Jessica will be serving again. Serve reception by Highland comes over the net. Siegel has to take the ball, so Hilliard sets it for her sister Heidi. And I don't know, as hard as that ball was hit, how they got it back over, but they did. And Mediapolis got some offense, and Haley puts it down this time for a kill. So two kills by the Hilliard sisters. The score is five to two, and Jessica will serve again. And That's out. The free ball out, so that will have a point for Mediapolis. Looking in the crowd, I see a lot of people fanning with their programs here. It is warm in the gym. Here's the serve to Highland. I think we were saved on that one. That might have been out of bounds, but oh, oh dear. Bad that was bad um, timing. There was a was that a set or a bump to one of the outside hitters and there, did not get the timing quite right and so with a 7-2 lead, Highland calls, uh, or they don't have the lead, but Mediapolis does. Highland calls a timeout. I think the coach is probably looking for anything to work. I, uh, that was a quick timeout. Yes, Highland is back on the floor. Mediapolis is going to take their time and, and give it, the get everybody Highland a drink. The Highland students are making, s I'm not even sure what, that looks like the worm, The worm perhaps? backwards in reverse. And the, one of the line judges is even shaking his head on that. And he's like, oh, boy. <laughs> so Jessica will serve again. This will be her fifth serve for this uh, side out. Or since the side out, I should say. Excuse me. And uh, an ace serve. Ace. Point for Mediapolis, making the score 8-2. to two. And we would be happy if the final score was 25-2 to two, so we could... 
Take these headsets <laughs> off. <laughs> no pressure, Jess. Good serve by Jessica. Highland gets it over. Uh, oh, kind of right there in the net. So that will be a point for Highland. I jinxed us. I should not have said that. Looks like number 16 to serve for Highland. Serve reception by Rachel Holstein, set by Siegel. Outside, or back, excuse me, back row mm -hmm. hit by Jessica Holstein, goes down for a kill. And I just realized that that was kind of neat. We had both two Hilliards at the net and two Holsteins here in the back row. But now Haley Hilliard is taking a break, and we have Abby Eberhardt, number four, to serve. When both Hilliards are there, with both Hilliards and Siegel, three relatives out there out of six of mine, thanks to marrying my my husband, but that's kind of exciting. That doesn't happen <laughs> very often. And Highland will serve to Minneapolis. Serve reception by Rachel Holstein, set by Siegel. Rachel dinks it over from the back row. Highland gets some offense. Oh, nice save there nice by... Nice dig by Jessica Holstein. We haven't got any offense out of this volley yet. No, nope. still oh. haven't. That was a free ball over the net, and Jessica Holstein tried to get there, and it just kind of went right not into the face of one happy. of our players. Especially on a free ball. That's right. I didn't mean to interrupt you there, Renee, oh, when you were You're just talking. fine, Kim. Oh, and we, Minneapolis dinks it over. I think it was a quick set, and Hil Heidi Hilliard puts it down for a kill. Okay. Betcha. I think it was a dink, but still goes for a kill. Kensley and Heater up to serve. Mediapolis leads 10 to 5. Um, Highland will free ball it over. Mediapolis, ooh, Hadondry's not going to be very happy with that either. Um, free ball over, and we did not make that a good opportunity oh, for us. So Highland will get the point. Passing's the key of the game, and that just wasn't a, a good pass. I know it was behind her, and it was kind of a backhanded one, but did not work. We remind the listeners, game one, the Bullets won 25 to 12, and they won the second game by the identical score of 25 to 12. So this is game three. Mediapolis wins, so will win the match, have their first conference win of the season, and they'll be 6-0 for the season. Highland hits it over, a set to... Jessica Holstein, nope, sorry, Rachel Holstein. That was a cross-court set by Siegel and a cross-court hit by Rachel. That was very good. Molly and Woodruff up to serve. Highland sets it and hits it over, but it is out, so that will be at Mediapolis point. Making the score 12-6, and Molly Woodruff will serve again. Sometimes I was getting pretty caught up there just watching the game. I have to remember that we are <laughs> broadcasting. So serve reception by Highland, the set. Here comes the back row hit attempt. Aubrey Siegel running there again for the set, and Kelsey Heater from the back row hit. Uh, that was a nice block by Jessica Holstein giving the Mediapolis Another point, making the score 13-6. Nice serve by Molly, which right to the middle of the back row of Highland. They get some offense out of it. Dig by Heater, dink by Siegel, and the ball stays over on Highland's side, hits the floor. Scores now Mediapolis, 14, Highland 6. Here we go with Molly's concentrated serve. Bump, a set, and here's the kill attempt by Highland. I thought that one might have been out of bounds, but Heater got a hand on it. We have a lot of scrambling, a lot of hustle by Rachel Holstein and, Holstein and Molly Woodruff, but to no avail, point goes to Highland, 14-7. Number 36, Cassie Vesquez from Highland will be serving again. And it is in. by Woodruff goes into mm. the audience there, 14 to 8. 
I interrupted you again. I am sorry. Oh, Renee. that is quite all right, Kim. I just had to stand up for a <laughs> while. I was getting pretty warm sitting down. And Vesque Vesquez, Vesquez, I don't know quite how to say her name. She will serve again. And Highland is setting with a hit attempt, but it goes out of bounds. So Mediapolis will get the point, and it looks like Haley Hill will be coming into the front row, and Aubrey Siegel will be serving again. She puts this ball up, serves over the net, bump, and attempt, a kill attempt by Highland. Pretty good hit there. Rachel Holstein gets it over after a set by Siegel. Highland comes back with a dink. Kensley Heater has a dig. Siegel a quick set to Jessica Holstein and puts it down in the corner. And Aubrey Siegel will serve again for Mediapolis. The score is 16 to eight. We hope she can just keep serving. We do. <laughs> Get some offense there off the back row from Highland. Kinsley Heater has the dig. Siegel, or Siegel puts it up for another quick set to Holstein, and that's working. That's two in a row. And Highland calls another timeout. I wonder if she'll take the whole time this time or if it's just going to be another quick 10 seconds and out they go. Could we'll have be. to wait and see. I always wonder when you're down two games and now I'm behind 17-8, why exactly we call a timeout. But So that we can run through the DogCast sponsors. We go. We have Brewer Agency, CMA Services, Wright Electric. Deb Mastner Real Estate, S SG Construction, Hawkeye Petter Shop, Main Street Tire, Prairie Ridge, Mediapolis Savings Bank, Klein's True Value, Myers Construction, Shrox, USG, Great River Medical Center, Rhodes, Morning Sun Farm Implement, Beckman TV and Appliance, Cafe Old World, MTC Technologies, and Meepo Booster Club. The game is ready to begin again, and Aubrey Siegel will be serving. We're in our third game here at Highland. Bullets have won the first two games by the identical score of 25 to 12. Serve goes to Highland. They're setting it. And a hit attempt. We block by Haley Hilliard. Free and ball over there. Wally Woodruff back sets Ooh. it to Jessica Holstein. Puts it cross court. Highland gets the ball. Another up ball by Woodruff. Set by Siegel. And Rachel Holstein puts it down for a kill. That was a fun little volley there. It can be tricky to keep up with the action here. Aubrey Siegel back to serve. Scores 18 to eight, Bullets leading. There's the set and a dink over. Aubrey gets it and now we're just free balling it over there. Highland. Nice block by uh, both Holsteins I wanna say there. Oh, oh and little discommunication there I believe. I think Molly thought Kinsley had it. Kinsley thought Molly had it. So 18 to nine score, side out for Highland. Try to get the ball right back. And number 10, Paige Wheeland is back to serve for Highland. Serve reception by Heater, Siegel set. Oh, beautiful Holstein, hit yeah. by Jessica Holstein. Cross court there. Another and senior that'll be greatly missed next year. Thank goodness we have the whole season to enjoy her. Her sister Rachel Holstein set to serve. Set by Highland and a hit from the back row goes into the net. So that will give Mediapolis their 20th point. And Rachel will continue serving. There's the serve. We have a quick set to the middle. For Highland, Mediapolis has it, sets it over. And Highland can't quite make it, so that gives Mediapolis another point. It amazes me sometimes how they can get, if there's a you know, hard hit, kill, spike coming at them and get that over, but then a dink like that, it falls. Right. Okay, set by Highland, kill attempt coming up here. And uh, Jessica, or excuse me, Rachel Holstein, doesn't have her feet exactly where they need to be, and it comes flying behind her. So kill by Highland. Scores 21 to 10, and that gives Highland a side out. Number five for Highland will be serving Jordan Rath. 
Mediapolis is ready. Set by Siegel, Jessica Holstein. Another kill for line. Jessica Holstein. We have a substitution here. Heidi Hilliard will be joining her sister in the front row. And Jessica Holstein will come back to serve. The score is 22-10. Felt good to stand up there for yes, a little it bit, did. but it's a little bit difficult to see when they have that backboard that or bank board down. And Heidi Hilliard hits it over, giving Mediapolis another point. We're getting close to that match point here. 23-10. Holstein gets a serve. Serve reception by uh, Highland set and a try an attempt back row hit there doesn't work. Killer by Highland. It's 24 to 10, and we have game and match point right here, right now. Let's go, Jessica. Highland free balls it over. Got some offense, back set. Haley Hilliard puts it down, and that, that game is, is over. That is the game. Final score of the third game, 25 to 10. Good job, Bullets. Yes, we want to remind everyone, uh, the first game score was 25-12, second game score 25-12, and third game 25-10. Both the Fresh Soft for Mediapolis and JV were victorious as well. Uh, talk about some of the upcoming dog cast. We have tomorrow night, big, ga big football game against Ke Keokuk at Mediapolis. Dog cast goes on at 7, game time 7.30. Next week, next Tuesday, I believe it is, uh, September 4th, you can join Renee and myself. We will be uh, at LNM, and it'll be LNM and Columbus and a triangular. So that means uh, the varsities, the three varsities will play. We get to play the first game and second game, or second first match and second match. And next Friday night, Wapolo at Wapolo football game, a rivalry that we're kind of looking forward to renew again. So, so what did you think of your first dog cast, Renee? I think I made it. It was actually, it was very fun. Once you get going into the game, like you said before, it's just you have to remind yourself that you have to keep talking because <laughs> sometimes you get wrapped up in the game. And so if we ever did that, we apologize. So luckily, if you can tune in to MTC, you can be able to see it on Channel 10. And uh, you'll be able to see the action as well as hear the action. So... Thank you for joining us. Uh, well hopefully you'll be listening tomorrow night. And for the DogCast, this is Kim Scheitlin and Renee Hunter-Doss signing off.